Yeah, that's that comeback was huge. Five rounds, first going in favor of McMaster. Then they just won out after that. That's just nuts. You you don't see that often at all. Um, your key sports, yeah, they, you know, eight eight in a row. I mean, it is a CT sided map, but that's not what we saw in this game so far. I mean, we saw a couple of really effective T sides at least in the beginning of that half. But now we're gonna move it over to Mirage. So let's see if we're gonna see a similar story of a, of a comeback, or if this one's gonna be even right from the get go. Yep. So now York University in one map favor, and this next next map is gonna be Mirage, one of my favorite maps. Uh, for this matchup in this best of two and guys this is hosted by ncspa.com national collegiate csgo the league and you know there's so many schools and just so you guys know i have uh current standings and uh if you are in uh attending a school and you want to know if you you know your school has a team uh, i could definitely look that up for you guys so but yeah we're gonna get into the second map and 16-13 was very close. But, you know, Zach, I have to ask you, though. 16-13, it was an 8-7 half in favor of the Marauders. They find five rounds, including the pistol. Then, you know, they lose, what, um, eight, not what, ten rounds or something like that? No, sorry, uh, nine rounds in a row? Yeah, I mean, I, there's not really much else to say that in that you know their defaults worked for the first five rounds and then they stopped working at one point and after a couple rounds of trying these defaults you gotta you know um i've been told before by many people and i still agree with them as well that just because you lost the round doesn't mean it was the wrong play but going into these defaults over and over again and even like their their you know rushes they weren't changing up the pace of their rushes at all they were just the same thing it was a flash out five players run out one spot and they get cleaned up by by the, the good plays by the players on the sites. I mean, and their default's not working. They just continue to, to walk into this brick wall that York formed out of nowhere. I mean, it was looking pretty abysmal for them losing those first five rounds, but they were able to turn it around. It's just, you know, it's a great comeback to see for them in a really unfortunate scenario uh, to see um, McMaster lose the game like that. Yep. So, Korv proving Korv and Soya. Soya is on the starting roster for York. And, uh, and we might just see Korv start as well. Now, he is deemed as a substitute. Now, I did talk to the IGL, AJ, and he says that we think the addition of Korv to our team is a great thing. He's experienced, and um, like I said, Korv, he's, he's a monster. And Gianluca Corvinelli, he's uh, a very aggressive play with the rifle, just knows when to rotate. Uh, he's been punished a little bit, but dropping, what, 31 frags that map. And now we're going to head into DE Mirage. Uh, this map, one of my favorite. Um, specifically, this is more of a CT side map. But it's, you know, it's good to start on the T side sometimes to see how many rounds you can get. But... Uh, more favored, it's going to be the CT side. As the holds on this map can get a little nutty and overpowered if you play it right as the CT. So we're going to see. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure um, York Esports is supposed to start CT. Yeah, it looks like they're having some issues over deciding which team gets to pick sides. I don't know if the first game was, was done wrong in that sense. I don't know. You know the players just seem to be trying to work it out as of right now. Um, but we should be getting started pretty soon as we have all ten... Oh, no, sorry. Only nine of the players are connected to serve bench. Waiting on one player, and then we should be able to get started on Mirage here. Now, Mirage pistol rounds are really exciting for me because, um, you know, they, they often involve a fast play with lots of angles to, to watch and, you know... Um, if if one team can pick up a couple frags early, then it's it's interesting to see if whether the other team can, can sort of try to even it out or whether they just get stomped on from that moment. Yeah, this is uh this is gonna be interesting. Uh, I'm really curious. I haven't seen um. You you you're, you're typically right when it comes to pistol round on on Mirage. Uh, I want to see like some crazy pistol strats, you know. 
Right, I mean, you gotta eventually get tired of the same old, same old rush, be rush A, smoke out something, you know, right? It'd be, it, I like to see, you know, the underpass used in pistol because it's um, it's a dangerous angle to take if the player nest jumps out at the wrong time for you. I mean, but it, it can be effective to split A and send a player through connector. It makes a, it forces the A players to fight from two spots. Yep, so just uh, waiting on... Oh, all the players are connected. And looks like we're just going to wait for the ready up. As they did take a little too long last time, hopefully they'll be ready this time. Oh boy. Well, I mean, uh, this definitely beats not casting at 3 a.m. for sure, and seeing it's all kind of matchups always exciting. Um, you know, to see a lot of these players are very skilled players. You know, like I said, Google's been pretty nuts as far as his, his monster hold us for the better part of that game. You can see core really massive. Um, you know, we saw we saw K2 using that P90. Lots of exciting players in this game. Jesus Christ, what's happening in warm up? So Zach, you, you said that you're heading toward the the Colorado Major, right? Uh, yes, Columbus, Columbus. Sorry, uh, Columbus. I keep yeah, yes, yes. Columbus I am Major. Going to be attending that. If I have any two, maybe even three fans in the chat who are dead there, to you know, I can take a picture with you. And all your <laughs> friends you met, Crackshot McGee, the caster for NCS, but and uh, you know, we can have a good time. We can just hang out and watch some great Counter Strike. Yeah, definitely. I'm just trying to make sure my tickets are good, and I might have some trouble here. I think might need to find tickets again. Oh yeah, uh, I had no idea. Yeah. You're yes, that's that's gonna be cool. We'll definitely be able to catch a couple games together. I mean, I'm I'm hoping to get a flush of autographs so that maybe some of his walls uh, <laughs> rub off on me. I wasn't quite sure. Maybe I was thinking about getting him this time. That was bad because then every time I mouse over, maybe I'll just lock to a head. You don't you don't know, right? Oh man, the flush uh, stuff is too funny. <laughs> no one wants to take a pic with you, you're too swole, and they'll look tiny. Oh my god. I love when my friends come in this chat and just meme it, it is great. I'm actually going to be attending the major with uh three of my counter-strike teammates from my team too which we've never met in real life before so you know cool way that the internet can connect people um and uh we're all going to be going to have a really good time there so yeah if anybody's there from you know follows ncs but definitely um you know shout yourself out on twitter or something and we can we can meet up and talk talk some collegiate cs if you want yep these guys need to hurry up is this a sub coming in that i see for that team is that I like turtles? I mean, maybe not a sub per se, but um, he was not in the first match. Uh, I like turtles. Uh, I like turtles. Is a starter for McMaster. Um, so we, I think we've lost. Now Kuxa is here. Panu, Deadshot, Google. I think the person missing is going to be. Wait, who's missing? I don't even remember the last person. I do apologize. Just trying to remember who that was. As in the substitute uh, for McMaster was Soup and Zelzar, but I don't think I saw them in the first map. Do you, do you remember who was uh, that fifth that got swapped out? Uh, Zach? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I forgot I had pushed to talk on. That's my bad. I'm not really used to that. Yeah, but I've been getting used to it, so um, I'm not really sure who that fifth player was. I cannot remember off the top of my head here. Um, again, apologies, chat. Long right here. Um, 
So, nonetheless, Turtles is gonna, is gonna come in as a starting player on this roster. So maybe we can see this change up for McMaster. We can maybe see, you know, maybe one player being more accustomed to these strats and the players that they're playing with could could potentially change the pace of this best of two. Okay, so. We're going to see York Esports on the T side, followed by McMaster Marauders on the CT side. I'm really curious at what the pistol round will be. Now, they're going to send Core followed by Key24 towards the B. And we're probably going to see aggressive play out from these three members, AJ, Wynn, and Soya. Now, holding down that B is going to be I Like Turtles. We haven't seen him yet. And Panu in the cat, followed by a stack with Google. And as they trickle their way in, watching that A is going to be Kuxa. Now, noise has been made. Flashes do come out. But two members come out the underpass. And look at that. Panu already shutting one down. Deadshot going to give up that window. And that's a very good play. Now, Wynn already trying to make his way in. But he crouches right back in. But look at that. Kuxa going to find a kill with a dead shot. And Wynn also going to get the trade. Panu finds AJ. And they're kind of just trickling off each other. It's kind of, it might, I don't know, is this sloppy from York side? I'm not too sure, but look at that. Win already losing a duel as K24, the last member, with 15 HP and a Glock. Now, Zach, we're seeing four members of the Marauder still up. It looked promising for York, but how did that fall apart? I mean, they obviously tried like a bit of a fake B there. They used their utilities on the B, hoped to bite on a rotate, but, um, Pinu picks up the frag and the connector there and that uh, give them the main advantage from the get-go Once we saw that happen we saw Corp try to push aggressively to even it out and once he went down It was difficult especially with K2 getting dropped down to 30 HP with a grenade um, You know there it was a great attempt to get creative on the pistol round But spreading out that much just creates so much room for for error and room for for the fragging powers of, of the CT side uh, so we might see something similar here as they utilize that underpass. Now AJ trickling his way out with the bomb. He's, the bomb's already down. This is not looking good, but AJ finds one. And that's going to be Deadshot, who was in the window. A very good game sense as he's realized that AJ pushes out. And Soya, though, only finds one. Oh, the double peek from Korv and Soya. Now it's down to 3v2. But there's still... A rifle and MP7 on turtles. And Panu holding a very good angle. Shoulder peeking is turtles, but he gets dinked off. He has 40 HP, but look at that. Oh, Soya, probably a little surprised, but wow. Win already jumping up, finding the dome of turtles. And Corp in the duel he finds it and picks up a FAMAS. I mean, that was a, you know, a great eco, actually. They took B site, or A site late, sorry, and then we saw a great double peek from Corp, and I believe it was Soya. Um, they peeked together, they took out the player, and then, you know, it looked like they were going to be able to, even they, you know, they weren't going to be able to get to the bomb, and that, that A site take was going to be all for nothing, but they end up picking up the eco, and that's going to send McMaster onto a unfortunate eco of their own. And also the fifth player from the last game, I believe it was Pulse. I believe that was his name. Uh, just remember that one mid round. Oh, one. yes, yes. Oh, but look at that. Google playing really aggressive, and he gets rewarded. AK in his hands, but he's got no armor. Can they deny more rifles? Now, Kooks up playing up close. If they decide to hit A, they know there's an AK here. P knew could time this correctly too with a nice flank. It didn't look like AJ caught him at all or realized that he was there, even though peeking mid uh, on his way out of apps. Oh no, Pinu. He doesn't get the shot, and now Korv is going to spank him. Finds him with that rifle. Now, dead shot sitting on stairs. As three members of the Marauders are still here. Kuksa in. Oh no, he's eating the molly. And he gets away with 20 HP as he hides right in there. Now, Google playing the default, and here goes the rotate. Three members with the bomb on the back of Win. And now I like turtles with a P250 and a dream. Gonna have to delay this out, followed by Deadshot. Now, 
Yep, as they stampede in. Now, I like Turtles. Finds one. Trying to get the for rest, but he sprays a little bit. Now, Deadshot. I like this play. But, oh, no. He peeks out. It, honestly, if he held that wall and just listened for the bomb plant and denied the bomb plant, it, it would literally send East York Esports into a very riveting scenario. Now, Google, he's got that AK. If you were Google, do, do you go for this? Like, do you keep this AK? Do you, do you run off or do you commit? Uh, it looks like he's going to just yeah, run off with it. I mean, that was probably even the goal before the retake scenario happened. I mean, he had two teams, teammates in B, but they nothing but five sevens in armor. I mean, not much you can do against a fully armored team um, unless you hit some, some shots or catch somebody out the way that Google did at the start of the round. I mean, once you get to the later on scenarios, you're just going to get traded out, and that's exactly what happened. AJ just checking there to make sure that the bomb does not get injured, and Google is going to get away with this AK. Um, looks like maybe a double eco, but another pause is going to come in from, from McMaster. Maybe some sort of... Oh, it looks like they're having more player issues. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, True, Just uh, it's it's unfortunate they lost that, that round um, there, that second round, uh, where they were able to fully buy into it. But it looks like they might be able to force this one, and we could see an interesting round take place here. The economy hasn't settled out for either team, and this could dictate the, you know, the, the, early, the early first half here. Yeah. Now I don't know what the rules are for uh like the pausing. Uh, I thought there were three pauses per match, uh per team. Um, maybe, but that might even be uh too much. But huh, interesting. Looks like the unpause should come in here. We're going to go into the fourth round of this game. Um, yeah, like I said, the, the, the force by comes in limited utility on both teams. It's going to, this round could really dictate um, the next couple. I mean, we see some money on Core, but he's going to opt to stick with the MP7. And we got a little bit of money on K2. But other than that, the money's pretty weak across the board for both teams. So, uh, we're going to see the gun round. Um... I'm really curious how this is going to play out. And it looks like we're going to see a very mid-aggression from these two. And they back off. But Google didn't get the memo that they're right up close. And Win already got cleaned up. Two of them. But Pinu already attacks back. Finds the trade. And it's down to a 4v3. And Pinu needs to be careful as they trickle their way back towards B. I like Turtles. Pinu is going to find one again. Very great angle. I guess K24 didn't, you know, get that information or the call out where he was. AJ has an idea, but look at this. I like turtles. Oh no, Sawyer gets caught out. And AJ finds Pinu. This is a back and forth situation. And Kuxa playing that A like he's always have. Oh, if he peeks off, he doesn't see so uh sorry, AJ. And the bomb, I believe, is trapped on Cat as KT4 did drop that. And I guess uh, I like Turtles doesn't, yeah, he doesn't have a view of the bomb. It's right in front of Ladder Room, and it's going to get picked up here. Now, Kuksa, he needs to be careful. Uh, he's out of position, and as it came out, AJ just simply. Took him out, but oh, I really like this from Core of the game sets from Core. Oh no, please, Core Vanelli, John Luca gets a knife on the fourth round. 15 hundo in his bank, 11k. He had a Mac 10, the holy grail of guns. He picks up an upgrade, Zach. What are we watching? We are watching a rivalry unfold. If you look at this this chat right now, we got some players going back and forth with some great banter uh, here. And that, that knife was just good game sensor card. He knew that the player was going to be rotating in from B. Took a chance there, sat outside the connector, and then, you know, has the guts to go for the knife kill. His money was already really good last round, and uh, now it's going to be even better with that knife kill to his name. Now, there's a lot of crossfire exchanges on this map that's playing out. As they trickle into B, now Soya, will he pay the price again? He checks the corner, but he doesn't check far right. 
Different angle from turtles, but look at the mid. Kuxa finds Win, who only had a USP. Not too sure what just happened there. Uh, Win's lucky I didn't catch that right away. Now, KT4, he knows one is towards the connector. Corv gonna find a kill as B has been opened up. And it's still pistols in the hand of Deadshot, Gubul, and Kuxa. Now, Kuxa is gonna pick up the AK. That beautiful uh, fire serpent. But look at this, K24 lurking with an op. It's just scary. You just don't want to mess with this. And K oh my god, K24 finds another. But up close is Deadshot. He's got to be careful. It looks like Deadshot might try to pick him out. Knowing that the op is, is singled out from the other two players who have taken the B side. I mean, it wouldn't be uh, unsurprising to see him go for this late round here. And just try to surprise K2 after K2 picks up two great frags with that op. Now, K24 sidesteps. Oh, but there it is. The flick down to Deadshot. And he finds, you know, three frags for himself. Just, just nuts. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get to see K2 use that op too much last game. Um, because, as you said, he's, he seems to be a very talented opper. Seems to be good with positioning. And his flick shots seem to be really on point. When you get a, an opper like that, he's just so on point. It can be really scary to see what... Uh, what he can do in there, he picks up three frags away from the site where the bomb is planted. So, I mean, it's good for him to hold on to that up. Yeah, now we're seeing a similar setup. Soya back at it again towards B. Now, I like Turtles all. He's not in the the wrap of the apartments, but when already going to find Kuksa. And Deadshot's going to have to be careful here. He's going to throw this nade in the face, but it goes actually over the head of Deadshot. And now he's going to try hit him in the face with this Molotov and he'll fly over his head again. And Panu with the crossfire. Now, Gubal, he needs to be careful, but they do find win. And it's been equalized. Soya going to give up that B. Taking Turtles down to 66 HP. And Panu still holding that cat. A little too aggressive. Uh, I'd be scared if I was him. But he realizes that no one plays that mid, but the Molotov got to give away the position of Soya. And Korv also going to go down. And the bomb on the back of AJ fall by K24, who needs to get this op-op. But he misses the shot. He shoots the body and the leg that was there. Gets the shot off the Panu. He's trying to help us see AJ, but I like Turtles with the rifle. AJ, the 1v1. The bomb doesn't even go down. Wow, unexpected. But the plays... By AJ. Wow. That was, that was just great. I mean, got him to bite completely on that fake there. Um, and I was just able to pick him up. Didn't it seem like I like Turtles even knew that he was going to be behind Triple. He seemed to I think that he was on default for some reason. And once that fake comes in, he gets wide peaked. And, and AJ again with some great plays. We saw the round go one way, back the other. And then ultimately, once again, back the way the, the side of the orc. And that's going to put the master up there. That's what we're seeing. Uh, Korv pick up a kill here on, you know, this is supposed to be a CT side of map as well, and we're seeing the traditional NCS narrative as Soya picks up one for himself as well. Yeah, now we're going to kind of uh, disregard this round as it is a eco round and already in favor of York Esports. So, Zach, we've seen dominating performance from both teams simultaneously on, you know, overpass. Uh, five rounds on, on the second half in favor of the Marauders, but then they got shot out nine rounds in a row. Now we're seeing the pistol go in favor of the Marauders. Now five rounds in favor of York Esports. And we're, we might just see... I, I really like this, only because Panu is, is trickling his way in as they walk their way out towards B. And the lurk from KT4 with an op is just disgusting. I would hate to fight an op while it's lurking around. It's just, on this map, Mirage is definitely viable, as there's a lot of long peaks, right? But this game's playing out, and I want to say it's in favor of both esports. As yeah, I mean, certainly, right? It's a uh, you have you have K2's lurking off. It's a very risky thing to do, but when he's confident, he's doing it the way that he is. I mean, you can't really fault him for that. He's putting the fear into McMaster that there is no matter where the bomb is going, no matter where the majority of the players are going, there is not a safe spot on the map for you to be. Um, so that's that definitely makes you play the game differently, and that's ultimately uh, also playing into the success of York here, the way that they're changing up which sites they're going to, the pace of the rounds, and, and where they're they're executing on what what uh, different CT. Holes that they're trying to convert. Well, what? 
great option. Did you just see what just happened? He unsculpted and quickly sculpted back into Deadshot. If only Deadshot knew what just happened. K24 coming up against that op. I'm not even sure if Deadshot even have an op. Yes, he did. Oh my goodness. Now, Kubel. Not sure if the call has been made. But K24 already trickling out onto A site. The bomb on back of AJ. Oh, he's checking really close. Oh no! Oh, he actually checks it! Oh, the game sense from AJ, he checks everything. He, this is what how you should be playing Counter-Strike, but that's so unexpected! This is nuts! This gun round just getting shut down. The Marauder's in trouble right now. Yeah, especially since their money is not going to be good again. There's going to be another, probably, eco, or maybe even we'll see a weak force buy from the next round. Um, just because, you know, I, I traditionally always come back to this when I'm uh, when I'm casting. I always talk about economy. It's something that I think is really interesting. I think it's what sets Counter-Strike apart from other shooting games makes it interesting is, is how, you know, you have to be able to string together rounds on a CT side. And right now, McMaster is having so much trouble doing that that we're seeing York just take over the map and just, you know, go nuts on every side. Of course, you know, K2 just being an absolute animal with that op is definitely not helping McMaster's case, but they got to try to get some momentum here they got to pick up some rounds because um, before too late you could see that you could really see York run away with this one. Oh my goodness as I was watching I like turtles third person Corv hops around with that p250 and finds is that p250 yes I believe so Corv you scared me he, he scared me man Denying that gun. This is not looking good. Seven rounds now. And a force buy out from no McMaster Marauders. And we're seeing again the same default from York Esports. Sensoy out, but look, Corv are playing a little too aggressive. He gets punished now. Soya finds the pick. Now B is slightly open. Panu has a scout. And Deadshot also gonna rotate as well. Mid is wide open. And Soya probably has the information that one's going to be coming back here as Stampeding is dead shot. But watching that mid with the bomb is when he has an op himself. And when still watching Cat fall by Soya. Now Panu forced back. Now he can't help it, but he's played aggressive at Cat all this time. Now he's lived against Wins uh, aiming there. But 22 HP, dead shot, still in the middle. He's gonna call it out. Trying to assist that A. And Google able to deny AJ, followed by dead shot on K24. And Panu also picks up Soya. Now Win, oh my goodness! What happened there, Zach? A little bit too much confidence yeah. from York Esports, yeah. or no, they were really confident. You saw Corv just jump through that smoke at mid and just try to make something happen. But unfortunately, the double play at mid between the scout and the Famas took him out. Um, and then it was just sort of like a weird 4v4 scenario where they just could not really like get together and just decide where to go. I mean, you had K2 lurking with the off, and he was eventually forced to just take the shot that obviously I don't think he really wanted to take. Um, and when he lost that battle, you know, you saw a couple of successive gunfights go go the wrong way because T players were pressured to try to make something happen with little time left in the round. They waited a long time to do something there, I think. Yeah, now we're going to see the common execute. Smokes onto CT and the smokes on stairs and the connector. Now, Google already in a tough spot as he gets Molly down. That truck trying to help him out from the box and connector. And Panu forced to back off. Now the only player close up is a dead shot. Trying to look through this crack of the smoke. He's gonna spot the dome of AJ, but here come two players from the CT. That's gonna be Kuksa, followed by Panu. Panu goes down. Kuksa also gonna fall as all four of them fall from trying to get that retake. That execute, the strong execute out from York Esports. But now, they've been resetted. The money. Oh no. Not looking too hot for. McMaster. Uh, I definitely not. I mean, now they're going back to one of those armorless ecos that we've seen all too, like all, all too familiar to McMaster now in this first half. 
Um, it's unfortunate too because it looks like that that force by wind could just maybe generate a little bit of momentum for them. You know, uh, could maybe start to get something going, and then that, that's just completely crushed by a solid, quick, and calculated a hit. And as I say, that Soy and Corv and AJ all pick up frags, and that leaves the B site wide open. Yeah, now it's left to Deadshot, followed by I Like Turtles. Now, they tried to change it up a little bit, but look at who was running away. AJ with 10 HP. Can Deadshot pick up this this gun? It's definitely doable. 5-7, all he's going to do is sneeze on him. And oh my goodness, AJ. AJ finds... Wow. He's just... This guy's just so aware. It's nuts. I mean, if AJ would have been able to hear the flank coming in through T-spawn there, definitely. But I thought we were about to see the second knife kill of the half at the side of York there. Um, but, you know, with a little bit of HP, you cannot fault AJ for just, uh, you know, taking the, the, the surefire kill. And you're actually seeing AJ here with max cash. Um, so you see just how good the economy is on York and they're just completely running away with this entire game. And just to make it even worse, um, one of the players are missing from McMaster. And playing aggressive is win. Everyone's on, you know, aggressive mode. Google makes his way into B side, but they're already out banned, so they're gonna find that kill. An aggressive in. Oh my god, and A is AJ out there. And he gets two one taps and cleans up Panu. Now they have five players again. Uh, how would you, like, what? Uh, if you're on the McMaster side, Zach, it's 210. You guys are about to buy. Like, what wh do you go about this round? Like, you definitely need it. Like, but how do you get around it? I think they gotta try something. They got they gotta get aggressive. I mean, they're we're seeing exactly what failed on their T side, on their CT side. They're just their default setup is not working, and you're seeing York just figure out where these players are and take them out every time. And oh out. my oh, God. Amazing. Panu, a little reckless in the mid. Google able to find K24. Now, playing aggressive in the palace was unlike Turtle, so it was cleaned out. And now, when they've traded spots, Win and Korv, this poor player, Kuksa, the only player at B. He's going to call out that there's one here. There's still three members of McMaster holding it out. The bomb's going to rotate. This is really good from York Esports. Now, Korv, they're trying to single out where... This last player in the B is, and Corv's gonna find it, but Google able to find Win, who was lurking in window. But Deadshot gonna find Soya. We need him to step up with this op. Get a beautiful flash bang in the face, double flashed. Google trying to make his way, putting the pressure from the cat, and he finds one and transfers into AJ. So. McMaster, they're 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 catching some rounds. They really need the rest of this this, this half. They really do. I mean, yeah, that was good. Dead shot to get that initial pick to take it out of the three on three scenario where you see York holding control of the B site. Um, so it's unfortunate that they, you know, for York that they were able to hold that as long as it took for the bomb to rotate. And then you see Google, who I think is, you know, um, heavily, I wouldn't say underperforming, but definitely is a lot better than his score would show in this game. Um, you see him pick up two very nice frags to win the round there. Yep, and uh, our Serenci, uh, I believe a 2.0 GPA will, will do you just fine. Anything above that. <laughs> but I'll look at that. that. <laughs> Academic probation. <laughs> Once you achieve that, you'll be good. But look at that. Deadshot already finds one kill. And Google able to pick up that connector player as they try, try to tr trickle their way into A. And the Molotov going to send Wind back as his teammates are getting singled out with that AWP and Deadshot already with three frags. And Win in a 1v5. What's happening? He's in a terrible spot here, but it actually looks like the CTs in mid aren't aware that he's here, and it looks like he's waited just long enough that he might get away. Never mind, we see we can move out who he is. We'll see the rotates come back in. He's got to get out of this connector before he gets fought out, but it looks like he's going to do that. And as the Turtles picks him up to give McMaster a fourth round, I mean, to get this fifth one, I would say they have a fighting chance, but man, 10 rounds on the T side is just it's a lot for York to do, and a lot to do it in a dominating fashion like they did. Yep, so 
we're gonna see AKs across the board as two rounds have been given up from York Esports. Now this off from Deadshot has been the cream of the crop from the last round. Uh, we're gonna see it take an impact, but we haven't seen this yet. We haven't seen four players trickle their out their their way out towards B here. Now Kuksa gonna maul sorry, smoke it off. And he's jumped up and he's gonna flash. Probably gonna transfer onto the apps. And still no rotates from his teammates. Can Kuksa have does he have what it takes? It's now or never, as he hear them stampeding, and here they come, they check right away, but Soya unable to make that happen, and New already in a good spot as he is smoked off, and K24 gonna push him as he's reloading, the timing though, and Google comes out, finds a trade, but K24 also finding another kill, Deadshot pushing his way in with the op, followed by Island Toast, finds Corv, and cleans up K24, 5-10. I mean, uh, yeah, it's a saving grace, maybe, for... McMaster, I mean, if they win the pistol, this game could get interesting. Like I said, the narrative in this league is that we're seeing traditionally CT-sided maps get flipped absolutely upside down um, by teams. And we've seen York do that exactly here. They picked up seven in a row after losing the pistol. So that's an interesting fact by itself. And then uh, a reset mid-round there just saw them pick up three more for 10 total on the CT side of Mirage. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this pistol goes because, I mean, if it goes the way of York, you could, and they're, they're able to win their successive round and not get ecoed the same that they were able to do to McMaster, they might just be able to uh, pull this one out before McMaster can get rolling. Yeah. So I'm really curious to how McMaster will overcome this, you know, this 10 5 half and as they will start on the T side. Now, Let's not forget, though, they've had interesting T-side strats. We've seen them win five rounds in a row on Overpass. Um, executes on this map are just as important, maybe more important in my in my favor um, of Mirage, because CT holds can get really annoying. So we're going to see Win holding down that A as a three-man stack onto the B. We're seeing a similar setup from the piss around from... York Esports, and they drop the decoys out towards B. Now, so he's gonna react as well. Drops the decoy for himself, and AJ also gonna pick up a kill. But the rotate, somewhat did happen. Win not giving him his position. He's gonna hear that there's one in sight, and bomb's already gonna go down. Oh my God, Win! Oh my God! Oh, he's caught out. <laughs> takes out his knife, but still cleans it up. A very clean round. The only player taking damage was Soya. 59 health, but the bomb did go down. So we see both teams try to fake on their pistol, and neither team bites on it. So interesting to see that neither of these teams really biting for fakes, even at any point in the game that we've seen, really. Um, their, their CT holds are, are persistent, and they don't bite on rotates too much. Now, unfortunately for McMaster, them, they didn't bite on rotates per se, but they just lost control of the sites while they were sitting on them. So we'll see if the same thing happens to York. Uh, it looks like we're going to see a full save out of McMaster here going into this round. Um, where they might just try to get a bomb plant, they're gonna walk into B apps. Now this is dangerous if we see K2 push under, which I have a feeling he might give it a shot. K24, he needs to be careful though if he actually attempts that. But look at, look at this Corb. Oh my goodness, he's oh he's just playing it out, and he's gonna find a third kill, and he's looking for the fourth. The PT P2000 runs out of bullets, and uh, what a play from Corv Vanelli. And Kubel gets shut down with a UMP. Oh my goodness. Not looking good for McMaster. Yeah, no, it's not because now they're going to have to go into a buy here. And I mean, it's, not, it's, a, it's definitely a stronger buy than the side of the Orc. Um, but their utilities are um, you know, just a bit limited. They don't have any mollies to note. So, I mean, taking a site without mollies is definitely hard. And. Uh, looks like they're gonna go for something towards mid here. Might be the right play without the Molotovs. And uh, Doctor Mr. Fish, yes, this is uh, Core from the Well Played Lands. And uh, as he plays this out, his teammate is gonna spot it out as he spots two on the radar and trying to get that kill onto Google, but he's gonna back off. And Google able to react as the smoke gonna give him some cover, but he's in a tight spot. 
and the op from K24 is gonna find him. Now the bomb on the back of Deadshot, who has six health, and he's up against Korv, who's in the cat. Now Korv just keeping him at bay because K24 is just gonna run in there, but AJ reacts towards Deadshot peeking out. Not too sure why he did that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not quite certain either. Um, just a tough spot to be in with 6 HP left and everybody converging on you like that. And we're going to see them have to go into another really uh, heavy save here. No armor on any of their players, only a tech mount and a P250. Two of their names. Um, so <laughs> it looks like they're just going to wait for 14 and then try to win out, true? Yeah, now... This is going to get really rough as three members or two members make their way towards underpass. So that actually, yeah, they're going to go for a little bit of a fake as the bomb is on the back of Deadshot, who's sitting here out towards, you know, T-steps. Now, AJ holding down the connector as they know they're mid and the read, 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 read from K24 on that boost. Now, Google blocking a dream. Trying to burst far, find something, and AJ's gonna peek out as the Molotov comes down. And oh, he gets stinked though, and the Glock. It hasn't bit at all. The wind just hides in the uh, ninja position. Is gonna pick up the headshot here. You know, we seen, we saw him do it in the pistol. He just held the spot, and didn't move, didn't bite on the fake at all, and we saw him do it here, and ends up cleaning up the round by taking out dead shots. So that'll leave us with a 14. Five score line and a very dominating performance here from the side of York. I mean, I don't know if it's too little too late for McMaster. We've seen some great comebacks in this league, but uh, ultimately giving 10 rounds on the T side was a, a grave mistake. Yeah. Now, 5 14. This could be the tie point for our, so the, the setting point for York Esports. Now, AJ at the top of the line, but Pinu finds AJ. And when sitting. Up close, he needs to be careful though because I like turtles. I'm not sure if he heard him, but we needs to be careful. Now watching with the assistance is K24. Now still watching this palace. As soon as I like turtle steps out, oh, but he smoked off, and when he's sitting in ninja. Oh no, is he gonna get checked? But Ali Turtles, he reacts right away. Blows up onto the site, finds two kills. Kuxa finds a trade. Korv also finds one for himself. And now it's down to Pinu. 98 health, armor, and some utility. The bomb, though, is in a rough spot as there's a crossfire in between. And Korv on stairs, who's gonna find him. But no, he falls right away. Now Soya, 73 HP. He has the upper hand as there's a crack in the smoke and oh, he peeks right out and Pinu ready for it able to keep McMaster Marauders in you know in this matchup I mean certainly it was a great play by him to molly smoke use his utilities it was close um, a definitely close round and um, yeah so we're gonna see a you know a buy up here out of the side of York. Almost no utility to speak of this, which is interesting. I mean I like Curtis going with the P90 so much. There's not great on either side really here, so um we'll see how this these next year on settle out as Corv picks up Google. Yeah, Google's gonna go down and let's see if uh, I guess bot Corv um is gonna continue to make a difference. Uh but look at that. The aggressive plate from when Gonna get punished, but K24 already ready. What well, looking at you know T steps now he's transferred towards Palace. And he's gonna peek again. And the bomb is there, and they're opting to commit towards this A site. Now McMaster K24 is the player anchoring, followed by AJ in the connector. I mean, interesting to note here that yeah, they've given up the A site because they seem to think that it's coming B for some reason. But it looks like Corv is going to get smart to that now and just head back. I mean, let's see if McMaster waited just too long to capitalize on this empty site. Now, AJ sidestepping on steps, followed by K24. They're still playing this out as 45 seconds rolls by. And here comes the execute. Smoked off on CT. K24 misses his first shot. Looking for the second. Misses the second. Now, AJ needs to clean up. Trying to connect these shots, is he going to get it? Now, K24 misses another shot. Kuxa trying to watch his teammate. Now, Korv 
hasn't. Oh, that smoke had a small gap, and Corv cleans up the last two, making it three K for your boy Corv. And that's gonna be six fifteen. That's it. Boy is a pretty funny way to pronounce bot. I mean, uh, but yeah. So bot Corv with the great plays there, um, picking up, picking it up for his team. I mean, Corv has had massive rounds in this best of two um, series here. Just absolutely massive rounds um, where you, you know he's not picking up the, the most frags on the team here. It's actually pretty even across the board. But the amount of frags he picks up and in which rounds he's picking them up really shows what kind of a player he is and how um, he's really helped his team to this match point in this uh, this mirage map as well as on overpass oh god another crack again but spectator smoke is op but look at that k24 leg scoop as they spew out their way towards cat don't commit right away but Kuxa gonna fight Korv, who loses that duel and win already with the crossfire it's a dream and that truck gonna run past soya who finishes him up and that's GG. 16, 16 to 6. And York is going to pick up the best of two. Um, interesting. And at the same time, I mean, we really didn't see the same McMaster after they, you know, they took 13 rounds. Oh, uh, did you cut out there? Sorry, I forgot that I have to hold my, my mic. That's my fault, guys. Uh, uh, noob, noob alert here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, we saw them take 13 rounds on overpass. We didn't see the same McMaster after that point at all, I don't think. Um, I just, yeah, it, it's it's weird to me because it looked like two completely different teams. We saw a confident McMaster, unfortunately, giving up, you know, a little bit too many rounds on overpass on their CT side. Um, and then we saw it, or sorry, they took they took a really great T side actually, but uh, ultimately they just weren't able to string together rounds after that 13th round. And like I said, a different, completely different team. In this game, we didn't we didn't see them get anything going. I mean, six rounds isn't much to to you know talk about when you're talking five of those with their CT rounds. Yeah, that's is um. We didn't see, like like you said, we didn't see the same, you know, McMaster Marauders from the first map, which was 16-13. Uh, but they did lose nine rounds in a row, though. We cannot, you know, let that go. And we saw the same skill transfer on to, you know, Mirage. And we saw the pistol round go in favor of the Marauders, but then they got, you know, a little destroyed from York Esports. You gotta give it to York Esports, though. With their new addition of Korv um, and Soya still being consistently nuts, uh, I look forward to seeing more of York Esports as they make their way up towards the leaderboard of Week Eight. So, guys, this is all hosted by National. Sorry, the sorry the NCSPA National Collegiate Counter Strike League, and that's at ncspa.com. And I'm TDL True, and I'm with your boy Crackshot McGee. And, you know, I do recall him as Zach because Crackshot McGee is a mouthful when, uh, you know, but 